Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. And it's time for the washroom report from my couch. Okay. Since we last spoke, wow, y'all, everything is so out of control, yet God is in control. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Some of these things you're already going to know. Um, maybe not. But we're going to go over some things, okay? Okay. Since we last spoke, <laughs> Israel looks into suspected cyber attack as all the government websites go down. It wasn't a suspected, it was, okay? Um, banks were closed off, the, all the Knesset members, I mean, it was a massive cyber attack. Security, okay. Now, anti-war protesters disrupt Live Russian state TV news. They managed to hack into <laughs> Russian state controlled media television. Okay. Bennett and Putin had a chit chat on the phone again discussing. Ukraine, coming from the Kremlin. No details given. And in a uh, turnabout face now, Israel, probably because many of us have been speaking out against Israel harboring Russian oligarchs and Russian supposed Jews. We don't know if they're Jews or not, okay? Um, the Lord knows, amen? Yeah, but anyway, they have decided to open a field hospital in western Ukraine, okay? Ukraine Zelensky uh, addressed the U.S. Congress today, this morning, okay, via Zoom, and as always, Jabama making promises, you know, making promises, making promises. Prime Minister Bennett says Israel is to allow Ukraine refugees to stay only until it is safe for them to return. Then, the capital N, capital A, capital T, capital O, period, period, masses some 30,000 troops and 50 warships for huge War games, really? War games? Near the Russian border. Hate to tell y'all, this is not a game. Amen? And this, I hope this makes you laugh because it made me laugh. One Emmanuel Macron. Gonna rule higher than and greater than any God ever was. Um, he has changed his appearance. He's gone for the macho look now. No more suit. No more suit. And everyone's saying, what's he trying to do? Look like uh, Zelensky? Let me get to it. It's just hilarious. Uh, 
soon as I can get him to come up. Okay, here's a picture of Zelensky and Macron at an earlier date. Okay, this is what they looked like. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's Zelensky now. Got some scrub going on, okay? Just waiting. Gotta wait. Gotta scroll through all the nonsense. Where are they? No, that's not working. Oh. Nope. You accidentally touch one thing and bam, it goes somewhere else. Okay. Gonna try this again. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, it says, Is Macron trying to copy Zelensky? The French leader always seen immaculately turned out in a navy suit, black hoodie, baggy black ho hoodie. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Team Bay say, Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Got that eyebrow up like he think he all that in a bag of chips. I'm just like, seriously. The snaps were taken by his personal photographer in the golden room of uh, Alessi Palace in Paris, which doubles as his office. Okay. See, I'm standing there. All scrubbed out, you know. Oh, that was one of 13. Hold on. I'm sure there's more. Got to wait for him to come up. Oh, well. Yeah, that just cracks me up. Okay, we're going to get out of that. Spend enough time on that. That's just something else. Amen. It's like... This thing is moving slow like a snail. Speaking of which, while I've got you on here, um, I have noticed that there has been a lot of uh, you guys and gals um, telling me you're not getting my notifications and things of that nature. So, with that being said, please... Click on my little bobblehead under, you know, right there underneath the um, video when I get it posted. And um, make sure you're still subscribed. And also, you know, the little bell button. And also make sure you put all, you know, cause if, because YT and others have been... Um, Doing a bunch of finagling, okay, for those of us who are targeted for truth, okay, okay, then Germany, yeah, Germany, to buy dozens of U.S. fighter jets in a spending spree, yeah, the Lockheed Martin out of Tejas is going to comply to that order. And I don't know if you've seen this. There was in Austin, Texas, an alien drone swarm 
form a giant hovering QR code over Austin to promote the new movie Halo. Okay. That's what it's all coming down to now. You're going to have to take the mark. You're going to be able to scan the QR code off your TV, off your device, whatever, to be able to buy and sell. Hmm. It was believed to be there were 400 drones and it was freaking people out. People were scared, okay? Then, Fatah gunmen in the uh, Balada camp, this is, you know, next to Israel, discharged their firearms during the funeral of one Nadar Rayon Rayon and two other Palestinians that were killed the uh, day before yesterday by Israeli security forces. And I will show you this. The capital U, capital S, Joe Obama will travel to Europe next week for face-to-face -face talks with the capital E, capital U leaders about the capital R, capital U invasion of the capital U, capital K, capital R. Be meeting with, you know. The capital N period, capital A period, capital T period, capital O period in Brussels on March 24th. Okay. Then capital R, capital U decided to do some sanctioning of their own. Oh, yes, they did. <laughs> and guess who they hit? You guessed it, the one I just spoke about before, along with Hillary Clinton and many others, okay? They are the ones that have been uh, playing this roulette for multitudes of years with the Kremlin, okay? This is what she had to say responding that she had been sanctioned against capital R, capital U. This is so delusional, y'all. I want to thank the Russian Academy for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Let me tell you a little something about her. When she was Sec of State under Barak, Destroyer of Many Kingdoms, She took money through her and her hubby's foundation, okay, promising the Kremlin, Putin, 20% of the capital U, capital S's, uranium, yeah, they all made promises. Oh, yes, they did. Well, now they want what they paid for. Okay? And this is why everybody's up in arms from a world view, okay, concerning them and sanctioning them off and everything because they do have truth. Plus, they got Snowden, one of the greatest hackers of our time. Okay? And 
press it in. Then this came out yesterday. Islamic Jihad senior official Ahmad Al Madala in an interview with Alaska Radio commenting on the death of the three young men in the West Bank. Quote, the ascension of the martyrs today confirms the unity of blood, destiny, and resistance, which extends to include all of Palestine. Palestine Palestine is ours and every Palestinian is a project, a project of martyrdom. And the Palestinian people cannot retreat from their rights and there is no place for occupation on our land. We have no choice but to direct our weapons toward the occupation and we demand the authority to end the security coordination that only serves the occupation and to release the hand of the resistance in the West Bank to defend our people. In Oklahoma, yeah, 3.1 earthquake 23 hours ago. And coming out of uh, Yonhap News, South Korea and the U.S. Mull resuming bomber drills in case North Korea launches an ICBM. Then this plane yesterday was tracked. Heading straight for Moscow, the government of Iran. Then, 11 hours later, they returned back to Tehran. We already spoke about um, the large earthquakes. The earth is shaking. Yeah, right. it's rock and roll time, okay? Now, coming out today, the U.S. is mulling over removing the IRGC from the terrorist list. And stinking blinking sec of state is going to Israel. President Herzog, Israel, to join Emmanuel Macron, France, in marking a decade since the Jewish school attack there. And it seems that. New lies coming out about, okay, masks are back on in Israel, okay? It's made a massive resurgence. I think they're calling it the capital B, capital A, dash one, and the capital B, capital A, dash two, mutants. And the high court in Israel to rule on expelling 1,000 Palestinians from the West Bank firing zone. Not a really good time to be putting out this type of information, I would think, since Orthodox Judaism will be celebrating Purim tomorrow, Thursday, and they've already been warned by Hamas and 
the PIJ that if anybody goes to the Temple Mount, there will be jihad, holy war. Okay. <laughs> London sends some 400 million euros to Iran as dual nationals freed and they deny it. Russia asks to brief the Knesset members ahead of Zelensky's speech. He's supposed to be speaking, I believe, on Sunday. Might not have that right, but listen to this. This is something else. President Zelensky says Ukraine defending the values of Europe asks for Biden to be, quote, world leader of peace. Two Israeli sites among over a dozen media outlets have been blocked by Russia. And Saudi Arabia's King Salman has underwent, uh, they say medical test, but it's an actual procedure. He had to have a new uh, pacemaker battery installed which he, he's just on the verge. I mean, in fact, there have been rumors that he's been dead for maybe a couple of years, okay, which his son, you know, MBS, will become the king. And then there's this. The IDF will, will not be closing off the West Bank during Purim for the first time in five years. This is a disaster. This is going to be a disaster. And if we're still here, I'll be reporting on it, okay? Probably do a live one tomorrow, Thursday, the 17th. Y'all have a blessed day. Stand strong. In the faith, the Lord Jesus Christ rules and reigns in heaven and upon the earth, and he is coming for those of us who believe, okay? The believing are leaving. Love you guys. Maranatha.